Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be an update video on my Campanatus Novoborakensis. As you can see, the colony is doing absolutely great, but there's one thing that I think you might be able to notice. It is something that uh, is relatively noticeable, uh, especially if you watch the last few episodes of this colony's update series. Mm, did you figure it out yet? It has to do with the larvae. Still no? Alright, well, I'll tell ya. Um, if you can tell, the larvae have not grown in the slightest. Now, I do know exactly why this is happening. You see, when I took this colony out, it was around about January, which has been around about 3-4 months ago. These ants are normally active for only about 3 months of the summer. So, the colony is currently trying to hibernate. They have hibernation brood and everything. Which means that I'm going to have to hibernate the colony now. The colony has officially done growing, and there's pretty much no reason to keep them out uh, of hibernation now, seeing as in they aren't even growing. Now you may be wondering, why are they not growing anymore? Why isn't anything, you know, happening? Well, with Campanatus and many other uh, Formicinae's around the US and even in Europe and other places that are temperate, if you take out a Formicinae colony like Campanatus or any Blaceus even, they will start slowing down earlier, especially if you take them out early. If you put them in early as well, they will want to come out of hibernation early. So I put mine in at around about September and I took them out around about January. So they grew from February on to now, pretty much. I was going to do all the months but I decided not to. Now you can notice that there is in fact one very large larvae there, but uh, that larvae has not grown in the slightest that has been there for such a long time. It is also hibernation larvae. So yeah, it is definitely a little bit disappointing, but it definitely does help seeing as in uh, it will clear up some space on the thing. And don't worry, it's not like you aren't going to see this colony, you just won't see it for the rest of the year, pretty much. Once they do come out though, I will start making regular videos on them again, but for now they will be, you know in sort of in the refrigerator hibernating for about three months but what i will do is actually record the entire process of taking apart their entire nest and then putting it inside of the refrigerator ready to hibernate so yeah how about we begin that right about now this entire move was a massive process, mainly because there are several heat mats and several, honestly, everything. There are so many heating elements on this little table here, and it's all just in this huge wiry mess that it's very difficult to do. I grabbed my cotton balls and prepared in order to actually go ahead and remove uh, the nests. You see, I did take out my Tetramorium Bicaranatum setup because I had to take off that Outworld first, and now I'm going to be taking that and putting it aside and getting out all the workers. Now, as I keep on moving here, I'm trying to get every other wire out of the way, and I am now trying to figure out what tubing to put take off first. I decided to take off this tubing here because it is on a nest that doesn't have as many workers out. So I stuff in the cotton here, and I'm going to continue moving on and pretty much repeating this process three more times. You can see escapees on the uh, counter and all that sort of stuff, they're just kind of everywhere. I do end up collecting these at the end and I will put them inside of their own test tube to hibernate in the refrigerator as well. Now that the main nest has been taken away, now all I have to do with is the secondary nest, which I will have to take out the workers of because there's only 50 workers inside of that massive nest, I can end up actually just using that nest for colonies down the road. Here you can see the absolute strength of these majors as I'm struggling to get this major off and it actually ends up taking a bite out of that uh, piece of cotton there. So I end up putting them all those escapees into a tube and now I'm going to let current me go ahead and do the talking from here. Alright, after narrator me explained everything that was going on here, now here's me, oh hello, um, anyways. So now it's time to water these two nests before I put them inside of the uh... The thing. I noticed that there's a, not many in here, so I'm going to try to get out as many of these workers as I can, and then uh, I'll just introduce them into here, which will be very difficult, but it's possible. So uh, let me quickly go get the uh, needles and all that. Um, say it, not for drugs, but for water. Hold on. <laughs> so here are the two types of needles that the arthropod antics nest takes, I think. This one takes uh, this big one, and then this one takes a small one. Uh, let me see if I'm correct here, though. Uh, 
I appear to be wrong. <laughs> Alright, so that means that this one is the one for the big one, correct? Yeah, okay. Alright. There. Let me go get the water. Alright, got water. Very tasty water. <laughs> Alright. That. This is going in to this nest here. As so. I don't think it ever showed me hydrating these nests. But. Needle goes in here. Fills up to that point. And boom, done. And same process with this nest here. Except with the smaller needle. Oh, this needle doesn't seem to be holding in very well. If you notice in this one, oh, sorry, completely missed the camera there. You notice in this one the sand is out. Uh, you can thank the monomorium for that. Or the escaped monomorium, anyways. So, this one won't exactly hold water as well. Oh, from this angle, because you're pretty much as tall as me. See how big these ants are. <laughs> so, here's the general plan with these guys. Uh, when it comes to the point when they are going to be uh, taken out of hibernation, I shall, well, take them out of hibernation. <laughs> and from there, <clears throat> uh, they'll be during the winter, so I'll have a few ants out during the winter, mainly the Tetramorium by Carnatum. Which are alive, uh, if you saw... Uh, hold on. This is their old setup. I moved them into the vivarium. Like, completely. So... You know. Well, at least the, the colony that is left is now inside of the vivarium. Uh, they're doing very well in there. But... Anyways, continuing on. So yeah, now I'm gonna put these guys in the fridge. Uh, this nest, I'm gonna keep out for a little bit just so I can get out all these workers and then put them in there or put them inside of a test tube to hibernate and uh, yeah so that is going to be it for this video um, first thing before I end up ending this video is that I do have another colony of Campanas Nova Workensis that will be going on for the rest of this year it is the bright morph uh, queen another thing I want to say is that the 400 subscriber special is coming soon it is uh, coming very very soon and uh, I guess it'll be a Q&A, so leave leave comments if you want that, I guess, questions, and I'll do that. Um, another thing is that I'm, I'm getting new ants, a few new ants, and uh, because of that, uh, these guys going into hibernation will actually be very helpful, because the ant species we're getting, they're pretty cool, alright? <laughs> At least two of them are. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you dislike it. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, Patreon in the link below. Uh, Patreon Kiddo Games right here. Yeah, right, right around here. Um, uh, uh, Discord server in the description. Whatever else. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.